Okay, good news everyone. Today I want to share about this model. Okay, because uh, this is the Duke 8P. Because this I want to talk is about this generally. Uh. Okay, so this is a built-in POE MBR. So POE MBR that means that you have a one lamp port and eight POE. But in this case, uh, I want to share is you see, as you see here, I got three unique cameras. Okay, so this camera I uh, have connecting it directly to the POE MBR. But these two unit I connect to the one switch. Then I go through the one lamp one lamp cable to the MBR. So that means uh, this MBR have built in the those core plug and play feature. That means uh, one cable, one camera. Okay, so that means is the problem is like that because I got a switch over here. So first we have what we have to do, we have to understand the scenario first. Okay, because I as you see I have a two unit here and one unit here. We go into the configuration parts and go into the cameras. Okay, so the cameras over here we have a detector, we already have a connected to 25421, 25422. And I have a uh, no space at all, so I'm not able to add any camera. So we have to delete a camera. How are we going to delete this old camera? We're not able to delete over here. So we firstly we go to POE binding. As you see, we I don't use my D3 camera. I just undo this D3. We apply it. So once we I we take this, the IP channel three are gone. So now we can able to add the camera from here. Okay, so the story is like that. Now I done ready. The MBR able to add the cameras, but now we back to the our network. Okay, so the network here I just have mentioned. I have ready two five four dot two already are connected. Two five four dot twenty one are also connected. So and twenty three haven't connected. So this is the last one. So we come to see over here. But before that, as you see, uh, because I kept my my laptop I plug directly, so I'm not able to access directly. So we have to set this and we, uh, this PC laptop. So we go into this command URL because it's for easy to access your network adapter. So once you enter, once you come to the network adapter, you right click it, you properties, you put your static IP inside. It. Okay. So I think somebody that have a have a IT knowledge they have know about this we have put 200 over here so I place OK over here OK so done so now I'm able to access this 23 so you make sure your camera are able so okay come to this problem also so we can able to relate to the Internet Explorer so I'm not able to access it because uh, I have to enable I have to enable this I have to enable the something over here over here again and manage it okay you come to the manage we have to add on so for this problem is quite a Okay, so we add into it. So now I will be able to access. So come to this part. We, as we know, we have already know that the admin, the one two three. As long you are able to access over here, that means your you have a ID, password, and also the IP address. Okay, so two five four twenty three. We back to the our MVR. Right, come to the MVR that time. We just using the custom adding. So we just put the IP address. Okay, so by protocol already done, I put back my password. Add into it. So you see they already connecting and the network is running. <laughs> okay, so it's already done connecting. So the another camera already connected. So we back to the, our live display over here. Okay, we back 
to our live display over here. Ta -ta. So that is how we able to configure this setting. Okay, thank you for watching. Like and Please like and subscribe to my channel.